Take a look at your home right now. See how nice it is, or if you're outside or not in your home, look at the closest building to you. What do you see? Do you notice how the buildings have different sizes and shapes, yet you can totally understand how they were constructed? Well, that's because when it comes to house design and architecture, most places follow a certain pattern. They want to make the house livable and follow certain codes to withstand natural disasters. But in some places, how they were built and how they look make no sense to those who are looking at them. So join us as we show you 20 buildings that violate the laws of physics. Number 20. The Upside Down House If you were to hear that someone had an upside down house, you'd likely wonder if the house had been caught in a tornado or similar disaster and was damaged beyond repair. But if you were to head to northern Poland, you're going to find yourself looking at a fully constructed house that is indeed upside down, and you'll then have many questions about why this house is that way. Thankfully, I do have the answers for you, because it was not actually a joke or even a prank, but a symbol, one that ties to the very country that the house is based in. That's because it's a symbol for the fall of communism. Do recall that during the Second World War, Poland had been taken over by the Germans. Then, when Russia began to fight back under the flag of communism, they annexed many countries into their banner, and Poland ended up being one of them. And to be clear, the Soviets did many atrocities to get Poland under their thumb. For years, they had to deal with two different oppressors, so when communism fell in the 90s, the Polish then celebrated in part by making this house and reveling in the fact that the house of communism had been turned on its head. The upside-down house was built in 2000 2007, and today has become an important tourist attraction for the area. Visitors have to enter the house through a roof window, being able to take a stroll through the house on the ceiling. As many can attest to, as you traverse the building, your senses will be trying to make sense of what is happening because everything feels so off. Some even say that they could only be in there for a couple of minutes due to how everything is. So it's part symbol of history, part tourist attraction, and that's one reason to make a very unique home. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Amsterdam's Wozako Apartments Amsterdam is a place that many people would love to go to on a vacation or even live in if they're so lucky, but just like every other place on the planet, they've had to deal with problems that only construction could solve if done right away. The western garden cities of Amsterdam, like many post-war neighborhoods in the Netherlands, were characterized by an abundance of public space, which is nice for those that use the space, but what happens when the population of the area begins to grow at such a rate that things have to expand living Wise. With the population booming, a plan was then put into place to help those of elderly status, in this case those who were above the age of 55, to find living quarters that they could be happy in. The problem though is that the plans were put in for 100 apartments for said elderly people, yet the building that they would make could only house 87 apartments. They couldn't extend the building in the traditional way because that would restrict the public areas even further. And so what did they do? Well, as you can see from these pictures, they just tacked on an extra space to the building itself, making the apartment complex seem a whole lot more 3D or like a pop-out book more than anything else. And the reason that it defies the laws of physics is that you'd think that with such a protrusion away from the main building, plus the weight that you know that some of those buildings have, you would expect them to fall down and hurt someone, and yet they don't. They've stayed right where they are, no doubt due to some wonderful construction methods. Not that I would recommend this kind of building style all across the board, but they did have a problem and they were able to find a way to make it work. Number 18. Cube Houses 
When you first hear of this term, you might think, what's so odd about living in a cubed house? Aren't most houses cube-shaped in one way or another? And on the basic level, you may be right. But when it comes to the cube houses of the Netherlands, it's a bit of a different story and not exactly one that you would expect. These buildings were made by Piet Blom. Blom tilted the cube of a conventional house corner upwards and then rested it upon a hexagon-shaped pylon. His design represents a village within a city where each each house represents a tree, and all of the houses together represent a forest. The central idea of the cube houses around the world is mainly optimizing the space as a house to be a better distribution of the rooms inside. Now, I'm not sure that I fully understand it, but the architect clearly had an idea, and there are cubes like this in various parts of the world outside of the Netherlands, which includes Toronto, Canada. Another thing that you have to think about when seeing these is, well, it must be really hard living inside of those homes, but that's apparently not the case at all. If you look at the pictures of the interior of these homes, you'll see that things are rather normal. Furthermore, due to the space within the homes that are now tilted, you technically have more room to do things and make the house your own. Now these homes aren't without their faults, and there are reasons why you're not seeing these kind of homes all over the world, because they can be a bit hard to construct and they stick out. But you do have to give the builder credit for not only coming up with the concept, but being able to complete it multiple times over. As they say, sometimes you just need to tilt something a little to get the desired result. Number 17. The Balancing Barn you know those movies where a car gets hit and then dangles precariously over a cliff and the people inside have to do their best not to send the car forward and thus send them to their death? Well, now imagine a house doing that and that's where you get the balancing barn. If you take a look at this thing, you can't tell me that you wouldn't be very careful as you stepped into the dangling part of the home. But believe it or not, this is not only a functioning house, it's also a vacation home that you can actually rent out. Here's another thing to note in line with the cliff analogy, the place is 30 meters long and half of it is dangling over the tip of the land. They built it that way intentionally so it would conform with the land without having to hide it. The structure balances on a central concrete core with a section that sits on the ground constructed from heavier materials than the cantilevered section. The long sides of the structure are well concealed by trees, which offers privacy inside and around the barn. And the other clever thing about this building is that it can transform in certain ways to give you the experience that you want. Such as moving some of the windows so that you can open up the space and experience the outdoors in an even deeper way. It also has a reflective outside cover so that the forest area reflects all around you. Would I stay in this vacation home? Well, probably not, but it's another case of someone having a unique idea and going full tilt to attempt to make it happen. And just because I don't like it doesn't mean that others wouldn't just jump at the chance to get inside of it. Number 16. The Mushroom House now, believe it or not, there are some people who have chosen to live in a home that looks like the mushroom, much like the Smurfs of old. And there are some people who are so intrigued by the idea of living in such a house that they've transformed their own homes into ones that look like mushrooms. That's what architecture professor Terry Brown was thinking when he decided to transform his Cincinnati bungalow into a chaotic fairy tale creation. Between 1992 and 2006, a late Brown used warped shingles and oddly wrapped staircases to give his one-bedroom home a look like no other. You have to admire the late professor's attention to detail. He worked with the materials that he had to create a very unique look for a home that would be pretty basic otherwise. Now, some of you out there may question the sanity of a man who would turn his house into a mushroom, but think of it like this. We all live in homes or apartments that are basic by design, and usually it's the rich who are able to augment their homes to their design desire in one form or another. But here was a man who wanted his home to feel like a fairy tale house, and he went and did just that. The only sad part about what he did was that he could only appreciate it for two years before he died. However, the house is still standing, and so is the man's legacy. Number 15. The Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health Think about a medical building, the last thing that you may likely think of is being an artistic expression of something or another. After all, it's a medical building. The bigger focus is on the function and not the form. 
If anything, the form should be basic because you want to maximize the space to get as much as possible within the building. But when it came to the Lou Rouveau Center for Brain Health, they had a different plan in mind from the beginning. The center was an agreement of two men who had important views on how the building should look and what it should be like inside. Oh, and it was in Las Vegas, and they were told that it couldn't look anything like anything else within the city. As you can see, they did something that was, at the very least, quite unique. The architect behind the center usually wraps buildings in a skin, but here he separates the wrapper from the understructure to create a freestanding structure that envelops a vaulting, cathedral-like space with swooping lines and deeply coffered windows. When you head inside the building, you get something entirely different, as it's meant to be a place that doesn't feel like a medical center and thus can put people at ease. And as I've never had to go to this building, I can't really speak of the effectiveness of the goal, but when you look at it from the outside, your eyes cannot help but wonder how anything works within. And that, well, it may just be the entire point altogether. Number 14. The Vitra Design Museum in contrast to the last entry, the concept of a museum having a unique look is not all that unheard of. I mean, after all, museums wish to lure in prospective tourists to see what wonders lie inside. And as a result, it's not surprising when you see something like the Vitra Design Museum and think, yeah, that's a museum, despite its unique look. But another reason for its unique look is the theme and purpose of the place. The building is dedicated to the research and presentation of design, past and present and examines its relationships to architecture, art, and everyday culture. There are numerous exhibitions held within the museum throughout the year that showcase how design has evolved and created various things over the years, not the least of which are buildings of all shapes and sizes. When you look at this particular museum, you can see various things that stand out from the crowd. For example, you'll note that there are many outcroppings from the main building, or how not everything is at the same angle or level. It's a mixture of ideas and themes that gives it the unique look that stands before you, and that's pretty interesting. They also made the place one that can be very educational and possibly even inspire someone to go into the design field for themselves, which is always something to appreciate and encourage. Number 13. The Habitat Housing Complex if there's one thing that we can all agree on when it comes to buildings and where to live, it never seems like there's enough room to build whatever we need. That's why certain people try to get creative with how they design their living space to overcome their limitations. Habitat 67, designed by Mosh Safdie and the Canadian Pavilion for the World Exposition of 1967, was originally intended as an experimental solution for high-quality housing in dense urban environments. Safdie explored the possibilities of prefabricated modular units to reduce the housing costs and allow for a new housing typology that could integrate the qualities of a suburban home into an urban high-rise. This is another example of a creative idea taking hold and a unique design being given as a result. From certain angles, you'd be fair in thinking that this was merely an apartment building that was being stacked up one block at a time, and technically, that's exactly what happened. And if you're wondering why things didn't work out for this design, despite it being made almost 60 years ago, that would be because of costs and other issues. However, the theory behind the design was sound. By making a modular apartment building, you could overcome limited space in terms of the land that you have while still delivering space for people to live within. And there have been cases of this being used in other buildings today. Plus, we've already shown you that some other wild building ideas, so having a block-filled complex is not really that odd by comparison. Number 12. The Dancing House the Dancing House project in Prague comes from the drawing board of two world-renowned architects, one of which being Frank O'Gary, and they were inspired by literal dance moves when they designed this unique home. The stone tower symbolizes Fred Astaire, and the glass tower symbolizes his partner Ginger Rogers. And if you don't know who those two people are, stop being so young and look them up already. As you do, us old people are going to continue on. The building was made after a bomb had destroyed the original building that was there, so if you're going to replace something, why not replace it with something that is striking and bold? Now, as you can tell, they went all out with the design and making it pop on the street, and if you look at the male side of the building, on the roof, 
that's imaginary hair because, you know, why not? So if you do head to Prague sometime, you should be sure to look up Fred and Ginger because you definitely won't regret it. Number 11. The Guggenheim Museum now I have another museum for you where this time we're going to the Guggenheim, which is situated in Spain. And when you look at it, I would recommend looking at it through its website as they have a cool moving picture that shows it off, and you'll instantly see why it's on this list. It has a warped and weaving metal composition that really pops in the landscape. Plus, where the museum stands, it works perfectly with the area that it resides in. One of the reasons for that was the area was once an industrial part of Spain, but then they developed the area to be more than that, and the Guggenheim Museum was a big part of making that happen. Once in the plaza, visitors access the hall by making their way down a broad staircase, an unusual feature that successfully overcomes the height difference between the area alongside the river where the museum stands and the higher city level above. The highest part of the museum is crowned by a large skylight in the shape of a metal flower that covers the atrium, one of the building's most characteristic features. And if you wanted to, you could totally ignore the inside and walk all the way around the outside of the museum to see multiple things along the way, which includes the unique curves of the building and some cool pieces of art to boot. And so, when you're having as much fun outside the building as you are inside, you know that you're doing something right. Number 10. Wonderworks Pigeon Forge now, there's a name that sticks out in your mind. Wonderworks is a massive scientific hands-on museum, but one look at it and you know that something is a little off, perhaps even 180 degrees off, mainly because the whole place looks like one building collapsed into another, and they even made it seem like the case if you look close enough at the building's design. Plus, there are gigantic hands that are popping out of the building, and that's where the entrance is. That's just the beginning of all the wackiness that you're going to encounter in a place like this. The people of Tennessee proudly state that they have the weirdest building in the eastern United States, and it's kind of hard to deny that they have a point. You almost have to wonder the thought process behind making the building how it is, but in the meantime, if you do go there, you should be prepared for some wonders and some wackiness. Number 9. The Bio Museo if you can't tell by that name, I'm about to discuss another museum. If you were to head to Panama, you would eventually find your way to the Bio Museo in one form or another. The designer of this unique place was Franco Gehry, who has made many of the buildings on this list and has been revered for his design creativity. The point of this museum was to show off the biodiversity that you may find within Panama and witness the efforts by the people of Panama to protect the environment with everything they have. It is a noble goal, especially especially in today's world in which we live. There's even a park outside the museum that is dedicated to biodiversity, and you can tell that they had big ideas for this museum and that the creative look on the outside was only the beginning. Number 8. Nautilus House now, you may think because of the name Nautilus that I'm about to talk about an underwater home. However, that is not the case. I'm actually going to talk about a home that's going to make you feel as though you may be in Wonderland or even in some place out of Willy Wonka. The creator of the piece even said that the goal was to make you feel like a snail or a mollusk as you go from one spot to the next and experience the greenery that's all around you. To further sell the Wonderland image, there are rainbow-colored windows that adorn part of the place and really make it pop. So, are hippies the only people that would enjoy a place like this? Well, no, not really, but it is a place that you'd have to be comfortable having an outdoor feel while on the inside, and that might limit who actually is able to enjoy it. Number 7. Rotating Tower now I'm going to a place that's known for its exotic looks and buildings. Ever since Dubai in the United Arab Emirates underwent a massive transformation to become a cultural hub, those who are in charge have gone out of their way to create buildings that pop and will bring in the tourism. One such building is the Rotating Tower, and it's exactly what it sounds like. With a bit of a twist though. You see, not only is this a rotating tower because of its aesthetic of a twisting building, but they can apparently change the look of the building by rotating the floors one at a time. Now, I'm glad that I'm not part of that building because who would want to be on the floor when it's rotating? Again though, that speaks to what Dubai is trying to be, something unique, different, and surprising when you go there. Number 6. 
Atomium. Who's ready for a science lesson in design? The Atomium Brussels is one of the most famous structures in all of Belgium. Created for the Expo 58 World Fair by an architect named André, the structure is very much a product of its time, being futuristic, scientific, and just a little bit strange. As you can see, it's comprised of steel spheres that are said to resemble that of a unit cell of an iron crystal. Five of the steel balls are open to the public, as is the on-site restaurant, which is located in the highest ball, providing great views of the city as well as a delicious meal. It's not really hard to see why this building strikes an image with you. This is like one of those buildings that you would see in a dream, or perhaps a futuristic society. And instead, it was made for another world expo, yet it still stands to this very day. Number 5. Snail House not to be confused with certain other house that was made to make you feel like a snail, the snail house is in Sofia, Bulgaria, and it's something that, well, lives up to the name as you're going to see. Painted in swirls of red, orange, green, blue, and brown, Bulgaria's snail house is five stories tall and is said to have no straight walls, corners, or edges. You know, just like a snail. And before you say, oh, it's another museum kind of place, right? Well, no, it's not. The house is just that, it's a house that people live in. Many people actually live in the building, and they are apparently content to live within the shell of a snail. But why? Well, who can say, to each their own and all that, you know. Oh, and to get into the house, you have to be swallowed by the snail's mouth. Some of you out there might be up for that kind of thing, but for me, I might as well pass. Number 4. House Attack at this point, we've seen multiple places that have had houses on top of houses, as in something that's happened to cause one house to stick to another one. But in House Attack, a part of a museum in Austria, it was taken to a rather hilarious extent, because the designer of the museum, of which the place is the largest one in Austria, thought that it would be funny to place a small house wedged into the outer wall of the building. But why? Well, the architect was apparently a very strange man. No matter what the reasoning, things look pretty interesting when you look at the house up close or from afar, but make no mistake, the building is not falling anytime soon, at least probably not. Number 3. The Museum of Contemporary Art Compared to some of the other buildings on this list, the Museum of Contemporary Art in Rio de Janeiro within Brazil might seem pretty tame in comparison. After all, it just looks like a raised building in the world. Nothing wrong with that. But that's not how the builder saw things. They actually envisioned a design for the museum to rise up from the seaside location like a flower or a bird. And that's why the place has no true ground floor and instead looks like a flower head. Now it's true, it may not pop like certain other buildings that you've been shown, but that doesn't mean that it's not a cool looking building, because sometimes simplicity can make things more odd than grand design. Number 2. Walled Spiral now, as you've seen before, it's not just that there are weird buildings out there in the world, it's that there are more unique creators who thrive on making things that go well beyond the scope in one form or another. A great example is with the Waldspire, an apartment complex in Germany. The man behind it was an architect who hated straight lines. He hated them so much that he even referred to them as being the work of the devil. So within his buildings, he was keen to make sure that there were absolutely no straight lines whatsoever, as you can see here. But wait, there's more. The walled spiral was also one that showed off his desire to keep nature at the forefront, to the extent so much that within this building, there are just as many trees as there are people living inside of them. So yes, it does make for one very unique and creative building. Number 1. China Central Television Headquarters Finally, we head to China to look at, of all things, the China Central Television Headquarters. And as you can see, it does not look like most headquarters buildings. Oh, and if you think it looks like a giant pair of pants, you would not be alone. The place is literally nicknamed Big Pants. 
but the intent of the design had nothing to do with pants. Instead, it was meant to be an alternative to how skyscrapers should and could look. To that end, they did fulfill their goal. They also made the place so that those who worked inside of it would be more together instead of separated into various groups or even separate towers. They wanted a community, and that's something to be praised and not pantsed. That's all from the realm of houses that look really odd and seem to be breaking all the laws of physics at times. As you looked upon these homes, would you dare to live in any one of them? And do you think that it's weird the reasoning behind the homes were built like this? And do you know of any other homes that would fit perfectly on this list? Be sure to let us know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you next time.